Something don't look right there. Guess it broke the glass out of the cast loader. Guys, come along today on the farm. We're gonna show you a really cool tool on Tool Tuesday here. This is called Limb Saw. Really cool, awesome boom cutting limb saw. Meow. Good morning guys and welcome back to Tool Tuesday here on the Stony Ridge Farm. We've got some really cool stuff here to show you. If you haven't seen this tractor yet on the farm, this is called a cast loader. It's from TNE Distributing. There'll be a link right there. You'll see it scrolling and there'll also be a link down the video description if you want to check out one of these cast loaders. This thing's really cool and I broke the glass out of it. We'll show you that too and we'll show you fixing that in a future video. So welcome to Tool Tuesday. This is going to be a fun and quick Tool Tuesday. I'm just going to introduce a new tool that we've been trying out here on the farm, or we're getting ready to try out here on the farm. So I went to the farm show not too long ago, and I met these folks from Limsaw. Limsaw is a company that makes a tree cutter that mounts to the front of your tractor, your skid steer, anything virtually with a bucket. They have a system with a mounting bracket that will weld to your bucket or bolt to your bucket. If it's a Mini X, we've got a Mini X over here right now, or if it's a tractor bucket, or they have a mounting plate system here with dual cutting blades. So we're gonna open these up, unveil them to you, talk about them real quick, and then we're gonna go try it out on some stuff. I haven't used this yet. This is gonna be just the introduction. We've gotta go around each one of our pastures and clear the debris and trees that are overhanging our pastures. So that's what this thing is all about. Not having to get out of the tractor, dropping limbs, and then we'll come back in with the wood chipper, chip up the brush, and keep our pastures clean and fed. First of all, let's introduce you to this piece of equipment that we're gonna be using today. This is called a cast loader. This is a high flow system cast loader right here. This is on the front of the cast loader, the whole limb saw setup. This limb saw setup has a uh, blade here, which is a uh, circular saw blade, and then it has a chainsaw portion right here. We're going to open this guy up and unveil all this stuff real quick. It's really interesting how it's all constructed, but first let's talk about the cast loader. So the cast loader is a 57 horsepower articulating tractor that we're testing out here on the farm. This is called the Maxo. It's the biggest cast loader that they make, and I broke the glass out of it the day before yesterday. Ask me how awesome that was. I had to vacuum up like 10 piles of glass that I busted out out here in the driveway. I didn't want my dog to walk on broken glass. So fixed all that up. This is the cast loader again. It's articulating, meaning that it rotates from the center point. So the tail wags, okay? So you follow the implement and the tail kind of moves around. And that's how I busted the glass out of it. This has a 57 horsepower Kohler diesel engine in it. And the way I busted the glass out is I hooked up this implement and I turned my wheel and the tail end wagged and busted the glass. Now, the glass was all the way up here. It was totally my fault. <laughs> Always close the door on your tractor if you have a cab tractor and you're using it outside. Doo -doo -doo. So we learned a lesson there. We learn lessons every day on the farm. Let's get you over here. And we'll talk about the limb saw apparatus and how it all works. So on the limb saw, we've got several hydraulic connectors, okay? These are the hydraulic connectors for each one of the saws. So this saw pops out and it's modular. You can take this saw and stick it in here, or you can take this saw and stick it in here. It's a totally modular system. We just slide them in when you'll show you that here in just a second. This is the hydraulic coupler for the front end of this portion. And these are the hydraulic couplers for the rear end. So in other words, you have an extension right here. So we'll take this all loose and we'll hook that up first and then we'll hook up our limb saw. We'll show you how all this stuff looks and what it does. Very, very cool. We'll loosen these guys up just a little bit. Limb saw really thought of a whole lot of stuff here. They have a little guard system right here or a holder system for holding your hydraulic line so they're not flopping around and swinging in the breeze. Uh, again, this is a circular saw portion and we're gonna cut all this loose and give her a shot. You can make fun of me all you want to here in just a second. I have a bit of a geeky fetish with these Honda elements. I have them all over the farm. I like them. They are a super reliable little critter and I've got a couple parts vehicles too. I like them. When you find something you like, you tend to keep it, right? And we'll open this guy up. This is a circular saw portion and the blade is not installed. I do have the blade 
What would we do without zip ties? What did we do before we had zip ties, guys? I have no idea. Shout out to Roadkill. That was your Roadkill zip tie moment. <laughs> okay, let's open up our chainsaw portion here. Should be pretty simple. Cool. Let's pull the sheath back. I believe this is a 20 inch bar on this saw. And it's a hydraulic motor inside here. This whole mounting setup is designed to where you can carry both tools to your job site, wherever you might be working, if you're making money or if you were uh, working on your farm, you don't have to go all the way back to the shed to get the tools that you need. Come on, buddy. There we go. Try not to break anything with the zip tie cutter. So that's your flat face skid steer connector. I encourage every one of you who runs a farm tractor to change them over to flat face skid steer connectors. They are so much better than the regular farm tractor uh, attachments. Let me know if you've done that already on your property. This is probably the first time this has ever been connected to a cast loader. The cast loader is cool because it extends and you'll see the boom extending. So I can extend this boom about that much further which might bring us up to about 24, 25 feet with the limb saw. Go over here, we'll hook these up. This is the first hydraulic implement I've hooked up to the cast loader. Let's see how easy or how hard it is to connect. Okay, that was easy. And that was easy. Awesome, now we're ready to put the saw on the end of the limb saw. So limb saw came up with this cool idea right here. This is a spring loaded detent which holds it in place. Probably, yeah, you can see it right in there. There's also one right here. So when you want to dismount and take the saw loose, all you do is pull that and slide this out and slip it in that hole. Let's see how heavy it is. Oh, it's not bad at all. Very cool. Okay. There we go. Okay, I can pull that up. Lock it in the up position. Slide this guy forward. Let it down. Snap. Bam. Nice. Snug these dudes down. Hand tight. Gorilla hand tight. All right. Okay. Very cool. All right. And then hook up our hydraulics. Nice fit and finish. Good job, limb saw. Okay, we're gonna run our hydraulic lines up through these little guides. There's one of them. There's the next one. Flat-faced hydraulic fittings, just like so. Awesome. So, first of all, <laughs> imagine a blade on here. I've got to install that blade here in just a second. I'm going to have to read up a little bit. This is designed to where you not only can run it vertically, you can also run it horizontally. And there's a little skid plate right here that runs along the ground. So if you've got some heavy brush that you need to cut, and you'll see that in a future video, we can hook this up the same way. We pull that pin and we bring it in, we slide it in, connect it right up there, connect our hydraulic lines, and we're ready to rock and roll with this portion of it. Today, for demonstration purposes, all we're gonna do is we're gonna use the chainsaw portion. We're gonna go ahead and slide our scabbard off and show you guys what we got. Look at how long that is. That is super long. I think my idea would be to get rid of this so we don't accidentally damage it. We'll take it in the shop, get it on the work table, and I'll install the blade and you'll see that in a future video with the limb saw. I see this thing as being a super handy tool for the farm along with that cast loader. So we're not gonna have the cast loader forever. We're gonna be installing that on the skid loader at some point too. And I've got a neighbor who has a mini X and I think it'd be really handy for him to weld on the bracket on the bucket right there where we could reach up and cut limbs with his mini X. That's awesome. This is a very versatile piece of equipment from what I can tell. Now. This is spring loaded, okay? So you wonder, how in the world does this work? It's spring loaded right here. So when you press down on a limb, it has some give to it, okay? See how it has some give to it? It has a little shock right here for resistance and has some give to it. It also has some give in this direction, right here, along with the machine. 
So folks, you might be asking yourself, hey man, you know, this seems really, really rigid. Well, it's actually not really that rigid. There's a little shock right here to help absorb any very stiff hits you might take. So if you look right here, it has some spring to it, quite a bit of spring to it, and it has quite a bit of spring to it back that direction too, as I pull on it and push on it. Same goes with the chainsaw portion of it. There is a uh, indicator right here and a little shock absorber right here, and that helps to offset the pressure that you'll put on your tree. So if you go up under and do an undercut and then an overcut, you'll have some relief for that pressure, okay? The weight of the saw does the cutting, not the weight of the machine, which is very important to keep from tearing up your saw. Isn't that cool? Before we head into the pasture with the chainsaw portion, I'm gonna take off the circular saw portion. So stay tuned for a future video with the circular saw. You're gonna love it. Oh, there's gonna be a lot of content we generate from this thing. Okie doke. Let's crawl into our broken glass machine. <laughs> we'll start this critter up. Hydraulics on this are really, really smooth. So if you have bi-directional hydraulics, we need this to go in the same direction all the time, in the direction of cut, and you'll know really quickly if you mess up and don't do that. Now, with the cast loader, let me show you how the arm extends real quick. It's really cool. So we'll raise this up, and we are extending our hydraulic. Boom. All the way out, as far as it'll go. How steady is that on this machine? Very, very steady, self-leveling. Boom. I'm gonna tell you a thousand percent. If you're gonna drive through a tight area, be sure you don't put the saw head on until you get into the pasture that you're gonna be working in. <laughs> this thing sticks way, way out there, guys. Way out there. I am super impressed. Let's run up here and we're gonna lop off some limbs on a tree that's hanging out over the pasture right now. It's something that could cause some damage to our fences at some point. boom just ever so slightly get me up there above my cut that's it bam look at that okay for some rpm yeah, very cool this thing's got an awesome reach on it i think the cast loader really makes this thing shine That's why we're starting outside of the fence line. I'll go inside the fence line later. Oh yeah, that's nice. So we're gonna pull on up here to the next limb and get a little cut off on it too. Some of these limbs are gonna fall outside the fence and some are gonna fall inside the fence. I'm getting the limbs that are overhanging out into the pasture first and then I'll go on the outside perimeter and cut them back to the tree so that the tree doesn't have any risk of getting disease and we cut them off flush at the tree.
But guys, I can't say how happy I am with the cast loader and with the limb saw. I was a little bit concerned that this made in the USA, made by landowners, for landowners, was going to bind up a little bit. And it did not bind up at all. It did absolutely fantastic. In case you guys are wondering, basically the general rules for any chainsaw apply to the limb saw, okay? You're only using the weight of the saw for the cutting, okay? That's important. You're only using the weight of the saw to do all your cutting. That way it doesn't bind up. I was worried when I got way up there that I was gonna have limbs that just break off and fall off and make a huge mess and bind up the saw or lose the chain. Everything held up great. This thing is lubricated by the hydraulic fluid in the hydraulic system of your tractor. So be sure you check your tractor's hydraulic system before and after. I'm talking about minimal hydraulic fluid just like a chainsaw okay so you might run this thing for an hour and it might burn a quart most tractors have gallons upon gallons of hydraulic fluid there'll be some specs i'll post across the screen right now of how much hydraulic flow you need and limbsaw.com a huge shout out to limbsaw today for providing the tool for us to review and providing the tool for us to work here on the farm i've got a lot more practice to do and stay tuned for a future video we're going to show you the other portion of the limb saw now, you don't have to buy this skid steer quick attach plate. You can just attach this to your tractor. I like the skid steer quick attach plate. I think it gives us just a little bit more reach. And the reach claimed on the website is about 21 feet. With the cast loader, we can extend that another four feet. So we're way up in the air. Very, very cool tool. Cast loader is pretty awesome. I'll post a link down there to that TN need for the cast loader. Man, great tool Tuesday, guys. It's getting ready to rain, you can see clouding up we need the rain get this grass growing i gotta go play cowboy thank you guys so much hit that like button subscribe to the channel love to have you back here on the stony ridge farm this is tool tuesday baby Woo! We'll come on down to the stony ridge bring your wife and bring your kids we're living life here and sweet that's the way it's supposed to be stony ridge peligro <laughs> Word salad. Best day at work ever. <laughs>